when I was asked to do Cendrillon, I thought, ooh, I don't know how I'd do a fairy story. And then I thought it would be an opportunity to go back and look at fairy stories. So I've had a wonderful year of reading lots of fairy stories to explore how they function socially, what they, what they have given us. I think we need fairy tales just as much as we always have. Actually, it's been a bit of a fairy story for me to unpick something that seems so simple, because the simple will not hold an evening. It is only in the complexity that you find the simplicity. So you have to sort of break it all up and look in. And I've enjoyed very much going on a journey to see what is the function of mothers, stepmothers, godmothers, fairies, fathers, princes, dreams, memory, death, grief. It's all in it, and you have to look at every bit of it. So what I've tried to do is to see Cendrillon as somebody who dreams, so there's a slight distortion of reality. The story unfolds. Somebody goes on dreaming and sees things in front of their eyes, which is exactly what anybody who hasn't seen an opera happens to them every night. I think all operas do, or the theatre does, is re reinforces the fact that we are much bigger than our uh, ordinary daily lives. We are also these people in our imaginations, and the theatre is the place where we see how big we are. Yeah.